some people call these demons, I call them bitches. Welcome to Classic Game Room. There's many exciting years ahead, like 2017, which brings giant insects and robots, 2084, which brings even more robots, somewhere in between lies Metro 2033, which brings countless untold horrors, radiation, and mutants beneath the surface in the Metro. I like the music in this one. It's Metro 2033 Redux. Originally released in 2010, this is part of the Metro Redux compilation on the PlayStation 4. Players take control of a young protagonist named Artyom, who must explore the post-apocalyptic radiation and mutant-infested Metro in search of a giant mop and bucket to clean this place up. What a mess. This is like the worst subway system I've ever seen. Somebody should wake that guy up before his stop. Come on, let's get out of here. Go! What a great game. Basically, you're out to uh, defeat or discover the truth about the Dark Ones, but really, we're here to just slaughter everything in front of us on your gloomy, desaturated journey through this miserable metro system and post-nuclear war Russia, where dangers lurk in every corner like terrible monsters and insane gun-wielding Nazis. Well, this one looks and feels a bit like the Fallout series. It plays more like a standard linear first-person shooter, where for the most part the game guides you through these tunnels and you just blow up everything and everyone in front of you. While this isn't the best shooter I've ever played, it's got a lot of character and good atmosphere. Typical CGR fashion, I inadvertently played the second game in this series first, Metro Last Light, which I actually think is a little bit better than the first one here. And that's good because if you choose to pick up the Metro Redux collection, you get both games remastered for your PS4 with all of the DLC. The gameplay probably doesn't have anything you haven't seen before, but as these are based on a series of novels, it feels like the environment in particular has had a lot of thought put into it. And I generally found the characters to all be pretty likable. It's one of these games where more often than not you'll find yourself low on ammo. In fact, there's even a ranger mode where it turns off your screen indicators and forces you to search every corner for bullets. You can use stealth for parts of the game if you want to sneak past enemies, but where's the fun in that? Just do what I do and shoot every single thing on the level until they're all gone. Then, only then, is it safe to proceed. Metro 2033 has a bit of a slower pace compared to a lot of other games in this genre. I think they actually fixed that and sped up the gameplay in Metro Last Light. Here's a part where I'm using stealth. Wait, no. No, I'm not. Never mind. There's room for exploration, but for the most part, the game guides you where you need to go and takes you through these tunnels and small towns and encampments along the way. The controls are as they should be for a game like this, and the surround sound mix is done very well, and the music is good too. There's a lot of atmospheric effects surrounding you, and I love the parts where you'll encounter some of the ghosts and stuff. It's uh, definitely creepy. If 
If you like a good science fiction shooter, I would put these two games on your list for sure. Just pick up the Metro Redux collection. The individual games are also pretty cheap by now. A lot of parts of the game where you'll find yourself surrounded by mobs of wild animals trying to eat your face and keep an eye out for filters because if you run out of them you'll die from radiation poisoning. So basically you're screwed one way or the other. And I've got a post-apocalyptic classic game room shout out and thank you to send to Kelvin from Cuba, Missouri once again. Thank you Kelvin for Metro 2033 Redux. After we survive giant robots and insects, we then have to survive the metro. Filled with monsters and all kinds of nasty things waiting to kill you. This is what happens when you fail to fund your sanitation department. See you soon for another PlayStation 4 review. Not sure which game though.